So what next? Uh, first and foremost, you need to play around with all the OData query options like dollar select, dollar expand, order by, etc. So these query options would be used practically in each and every SAP UI and Fury apps. You will also need to learn and implement associations and navigations. So these are the concepts which you can um, self-study. So those are quite simple. It's not a rocket science. You can do it by yourself. You also need to make your hand dirty in all crude operations. Crude as in C-R-U-D. So in our course, we saw how we can uh, do read and create operations. Like read means get operations and create means post operations. Now you should do update and delete. Both update and delete would be like post operations, but the method to be redefined would be different. And I know, I hope you know by now, the method would start with update underscore entity or delete underscore entity. So you can do those because uh, we have given enough concepts in the uh, read and write. So you can do the update and delete. In real uh, SAP UI projects, uh, you will not be sending just one entry or deleting one entry you need to send multiple records so in those cases we have to use this create deep entity method so you should also know and learn about it and finally you should consume the OData from a front-end app usually an SAP UI 5 app or a Fiori app <sighs> I sincerely hope this course must have given you enough kicks and knowledge to help you plunge deeper into the real SAP NetWeaver gateway and OData service projects uh, till we meet in our next course, take care and keep learning. And thank you very much for signing up for this course. Have a wonderful time ahead.